Everybody. I'm hoping you can see that because it's a glorious sunrise this morning. Oh bother, it's going to a bit of out of focus. There you go, I've moved the... Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful pinks and blues and sort of peaches. I have no idea if that's recording very well or not. Um, but I thought I'd try and capture a little bit of that as the view out of my bedroom window. Alice, just doing her usual stretches. Good morning, Ali Boo. How you doing? Hmm? wanting a hug aren't you but I can't film and hug at the same time so I'll put the phone down and we'll have a hug so good morning everybody so I don't know if you saw that sunrise or not but it's very beautiful so we've got um Alice and I this morning so um slightly different position for me today um yeah so oh my goodness day seven I think um it's Tuesday so I hope Monday was kind to you beginning of the week and so on um, I suppose for all you teachers and so on out there, this is a manic time of year. I mean, like super manic. I remember when Molly was little, there was always a nativity play to go to or something or other. I just got my banana milkshake on the go. Oh, a particularly thick version this morning. I really like banana milkshakes, not least because when the bananas look really black and manky, you just whack them in the blitzer and uh hello darling and they're absolutely fine so today i'm in a heather dress um from sew over it if i stand up you know you can see a beautiful big pocket and i've got it on with um some really lovely teal tights there so quite bright i suppose i love that i love the heather dress it's really snuggly and it's quite smart um so yeah perfect for what i do um now which is great um my husband chose me this fabric and when we were in a um in a sewing uh, fabric market in Holland, uh, in Delft on a Thursday. I hope it still still does it because COVID might have stopped those sorts of things, which would be a tragedy. But um, uh, in pre-COVID years, we used to go to Delft. Uh, well, sorry, used to go to a place called Wassenaar. Um, well, more more specifically to Dunrell, which is an amazing amusement park. Um, so if you've never looked up that, then do because it's amazing. D U D U I N R E L L um, in Holland. It's just phenomenal. A bit like a centre parks for those you know what that is. But much better value and much better. Um, but basically, from from Wassenaar to Delft is only about half an hour. And um, every Thursday they used to have a fabric market. And my husband saw this. It's a lovely jersey, um, sort of like that's actually a French terry actually, and ch um, chose this for me, which is very sweet of him. Um, he's also very kind because every year he'd let me have a wander around fabric market, which let's face it, as fellow fabric lovers, is just heaven. And then sandwich the fact that it's in Delft which is one of the prettiest um, towns you will ever view uh, or be be in um, it's in the cathedral square church square and the bells would sound uh, yeah taking me back to a very very pleasant place indeed anyway I'm going to keep it short and sweet this morning in fact yesterday's video was really short and sweet but um, I've had some really good reception on that so thank you very much um, and uh, yeah let me know if there's things you'd like to see more of um, I am just living my life uh, which seems to be going down well with most of you which is great thank you very much um, I personally need to batch watch a lot of my fellow vloggers um, what we're doing the sewing and the filming and everything I haven't had a chance to catch up with everybody um, so I will do that at some stage, but have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you after work, I guess. Take care. Good evening, everybody. How are you all doing? Oh, Tuesday done. Another day over. Gosh, tell you what, the days are flying by. So I'm on a mission this evening. Um, now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will spot there is no microphone around my shoulder, my around my neckline. Um, you may be able to spot steam coming out of my ears because I ordered a microphone. It turned up, which is great. Did it work? No. <laughs> oh, livid doesn't quite cover it, to be fair. So deep breaths, deep breaths, channel my inner calm. Um, so very frustrating. Um, yeah, just uh, so annoying when that sort of thing happens. Um, my husband is absolutely saying, well, 
in his head because he hasn't said it out loud because he can see how cross I am. But he's absolutely saying that you pay what you get, for, <laughs> you get what you pay for, rather. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't invest a great deal in it. That's true. Did I think it was going to work? No. <laughs> oh, I'm so cross. <sighs> anyway. So I'm on a mission this evening. I have got to sew up my jumpsuit. Um, I did get to, I did the front crotch seam this morning, or last night, sorry, um, to go do the bias binding. I have made made the straps, so um, the waist ties rather. So yeah, so I am moving forward with it. Um, so I'm going to, yeah, gonna, well, I kind of need to finish it really. Um, it's a shame because my daughter wants to watch some more movies with me and uh, as you may well know she suffers from mental health issues and so when she wants me I really want to, to be there for her but I also need to do some sewing because this outfit needs to be worn on Friday night and it's not getting any closer to being finished so uh, anyway let's do something different um so I haven't even had any dinner yet so if you hear my tummy rumbling I apologize in advance for that so day seven let's have a look what question have I got oh let's have a look it's a big box this evening makes no difference the questions are the same size but uh yeah that would be a good fun wouldn't it fill that with sweets or something so today's question oh that's a nice question what will i be wearing on christmas day well do you know what that's a really great question actually because um it is my intention if i like it and if i ever finish it to be wearing my jumpsuit on christmas day because it's such a um because it's such a lovely Christmassy red um, and I think it's going to be super comfortable because it's just waist ties etc um, I think I really would like to be wearing that naturally that depends on whether I actually finish it or not um, I think I think comfort stroke style is always the order of the, order of the day um, I'm just having a look around here um, I have sometimes ordered fabric um, specifically to make a Christmas Day dress. Um, actually, the dress I was wearing this morning, I wore that on Christmas Day um, a few years ago when I first made it. Um, yeah, because that was nice and comfortable and smart and things. But yeah, my intention is to wear um, this beach pyjamas on Christmas Day. What about you guys? What Are you busy making things for Christmas Day? Do you have plans? Um, what's your what's your sort of ritual when it comes to Christmas or do you think it's just all too much hassle and too much pressure on yourself um, um yeah so at least I'm combining two events into one um hopefully with wearing this jumpsuit on Friday night and back on Christmas day as well um yeah it's uh, definitely a Christmas red for sure but I hope to wear it other times as well um yeah so okay I'm going to set up and do some sewing now um I may I'll stop the video um talking wise and set you up so you can watch me um sew I think would be a nice thing to do um but other than that um well I may well sign off at the end and uh, give you an update where I've got up to so I hope you're having a nice day everybody um have a nice evening um you're probably watching me the following day I should imagine by the time I've got this up and loaded and things thank you very much everybody for your lovely comments please do subscribe um, and do leave me a comment um, I know I'm not haven't got as many followers as some of my lovely um, fellow youtubers but every view um, really means the world to me um, yeah definitely not huge numbers but that's all right I'm here I'm doing it and uh, when you comment to me uh, it's as if we're having a chat as friends so I'm sorry if you can hear my husband in the background his son somehow shouting or loudly talking to my daughter so I'll sign off there before it gets too loud
so the majority of it is done, which is great. I haven't overlocked any of the seams or anything yet. I just wanted to get the construction done, sort of uh, a try on, although I've made this, I think this is the third or fourth of these I've made. So I'm pretty confident that it's gonna fit all right. Sorry, my light's a bit weird, but that's okay. Um, so I just had some dinner. The steam has come out of my ears, I think, a little bit now. So I've recovered a little from that scenario. So I think all that's left to do now is put the ties on um, and then I shall try it on, I think. Um, I'm not going to show you that, I don't think, today. Um, I might do, see how, it, see how I feel. Um, and then I'll overlock everything and iron and um, hem. So yeah, we're not far off really, which is good. <laughs> good morning, everybody. So it's December the 8th, day eight. And those eagle-eyed amongst you will be like, oh, didn't see a video for yesterday. And that would be because of this jumpsuit. So I made a jumpsuit. Yep, here it is. Um, and guess what? I made a jumpsuit that I didn't like, which was not helpful. Um, so if I can explain, I made a jumpsuit that was this way around. Here we are, lovely binding on the outside. Um, yeah, nice, nice finish there, nice matte finish. So I made it, tried it on, did not like it. This is not good. The event is on Friday. So what did I do? I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try it on inside out because, as you know, it's matte on one side. I hope that's coming up all right. And it is shiny on the other. And I really like the shiny side. So I took the whole thing apart, literally every seam, and put it back together. Not only then did I put it back together, but I put it back together incorrectly. Um, so if it was twisted, so then I had to take it apart again and put it back together again. So um, it's a good job I did all this binding um, like neatly. I know you can see some of the imperfections there, but it's only for me. I'm not too worried. Um, and now I have two buttonholes, one here and the original one here, which you can't see because actually the tie goes across there. So, wow, that was a bit of an eventful night what with the steam coming out my ears of my microphone, not, uh, my new microphone not working, having to send that back, um, and then finishing the jumpsuit only to discover I didn't like it. Um, I genuinely went onto the next website, which is a, um, a shopping channel here, um, to see if I could see something, and I couldn't. So, um, so I got this to, this to the place last night, so you can see it's literally is complete and I hope you can see all of that but I haven't overlocked any of the inside or anything yet because I just wanted to get to a place where I had something that was at least a starting point of a um, of a finished item <laughs> these are the shoes down here one's one abandoned slipper I literally walked away from this last night at midnight so I sound a bit hoarse this morning so um, yeah I'll stop it there I'm gonna go and get showered and everything um, so it'll be two days in one today so sorry about that but there you go that's that's real life for you so I'll catch up with you later okay so here we are um, I've got my tea on the go morning everyone mm. I've got wandering whippets I've got some crunchy nut cornflakes as my breakfast this morning so I'm going to um, crack on and eat this because I'm going to need to go to work very shortly. Uh, today I'm wearing another Tilly in the Buttons um, Freya top and this is a sew over it ultimate shift top. Uh, obviously sleeveless, made in the lovely Lady McElroy fabric. Um, whippets wandering around. And I got it on with my black Joan trousers again. So um, yeah, it's uh, sort of just very cloudy today. It looks like it's been raining in the night. So um, yeah, so I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Um, I hope you're having a good day, whatever you're up to today. So I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs> good evening, everybody. You join me in the carnage that is a pre, sort of, uh, no, mid, mid make um, scenario. Oh my word. There is bits of cotton everywhere. There is clothes and pattern pieces festooned across my sewing room. This is not an Instagram ready sewing room, ladies and gentlemen. I have to tell you, this is a, um, yeah, this is a work in progress. Um, so you may have gathered from my clip this morning that um, the jumpsuit was just an ah moment. Oh my word. 
And having stayed up till midnight last night, um, having um, I just wanted to get it to a place where I at least had an idea of whether I'd even be able to wear it to the event on Friday. So um, I can show you it. Um, so as I said, as I explained this morning, I made this matte side out. Um, so yeah, the binding is done from matte side. It is no longer matte side out. It is now um, glossy side out, shiny side out. Um, now you're thinking, oh my word, there's darts there, there's binding there. What are you gonna do? There's shoulder seams, etc. So I, in essence, French seam the shoulder seams. I did take out the front darts and redo them. Now the back darts I've decided decided to call a design feature because they are ever so neat anyway. So I stitched down the 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 um, back darts. So they basically look well. If you weren't a seamstress, I don't think you'd know that they were even not a thing. Well, that's that's what I'm telling myself. The binding, as I explained this morning, is now um, just is neat neat on the inside and not visible. Um, so yeah what a mad situation genuinely oh, just sometimes you've got to sort of step away from the sewing machine but i couldn't because um at this point i can tell you i thought i was going to an event on friday because at about three o'clock today my business announced that in fact the post they have postponed the event well into spring um, i can't say i'm surprised i am disappointed because i'm really looking forward to meeting lots of people um Sorry about all the stuff in the background going on. Oh, it's always go all go in my house. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm disappointed they've cut, they've cancelled or sorry postponed the the conference. Um, I do like a mingle as I explained, um, but I've got to tell you, my first thought was, oh, I stayed up till midnight last night trying to make a jumpsuit, which I now don't need to wear um, this week. But um, I will persevere. Um, I think I'm going to lose the pockets because um, satin just shows every um, sort of pucker, if you like. So I think the pockets are dragging the, the jumpsuit down on the sides. I'm also going to extend the ties considerably because they just don't, um, they don't, yeah, you can't create a nice tie. So I am going to um, park that. <laughs> Now, having said I don't have a work in progress pile, there are just some some projects that I need to step away that you need to step away from, I suppose. So, but I will be stepping back into it. Um, but by the time, um, or well, before the end of Vlogmas, put it put it that way, because I think I would like to wear it on Christmas Day. Doesn't. Um, I'm really pleased with the result now that it's glossy side out. Um, it just looked really basic and boring, um, which I, I, I'm not intentionally ever going to be a basic and boring person. Um, I'm comfortable in my own skin, and I think we should all be comfortable in our own skin, so if that means colour every now and again, then so be it. So, I am not going to do any sewing this evening, um, but I'm going to do the advent calendar with you, and then I'm going to do what my daughter would like me to do, which is go and watch some X-Men with her. Um, we are batch watching um, X-Men movies, um, which is a lovely thing to do. I absolutely love spending time with my daughter. Um, sorry, we can have big bing, bing bings. I've forgotten to turn off my notifications, so I've got some oh hiccups. I've got some messages coming through there. So day eight. Okay, what have we got today? Now, I've got no glasses with me, so that's not a good thing. So I'm going to, hopefully I can read my own writing. So, what is in your fabric stash? Oh my word. Oh, okay. Right, in that case, um, it's just over there, as you know. Um, so I will, I will lift a box down. Um, so I'll stop filming here. I'll lift a box down and I'll take you through, um, I'll take you through a few bits there. All right, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay everyone, so this is proof if ever you need it that I've done absolutely no tidying um, to do my vlogmas because this, I'm going to sneeze, <coughs> excuse me, this would have been an excellent opportunity for me, to, for me to make this look really perfect but it is real life um, and a lot of these pieces you will recognise. Um, so starting on the top here we've got um, a sort of couple, ooh, couple of metres worth of um, green ribbed jersey, which was classed as Pontaromi, but Pontaroma, but isn't. That came from Rainbow Fabrics, as did this lovely jungle print viscose. So I'm looking forward to making something out of that. I'm thinking probably jumpsuit. 
I've got two meters here, both in different colors of um, the cotton dobby. And that came from Felicity Fabrics. So my trouble with these two is as beautiful as they are, unfortunately the colors just don't do anything for me. So I'm a bit stuck as to what to do with those. So ideas on a postcard would be greatly appreciated. I've got um, quite a nice big remnant piece or a couple of pieces here of the, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I've got father and daughter discussions happening. Um, this is the beautiful embroidery on glaze in two different types that I have from Felicity Fabrics. Um, and they would normally be in my scrap box, but actually I had a vision to do, um, to create a t-shirt with sleeves in different um, texture. This is a remnant piece um, uh, of Lady McElroy jersey. And again, the color does nothing for me, unfortunately, which is such a shame. But I made a Joni dress out of that a couple of years ago. I've got a few pieces actually of athletic jersey, which um, with the pending hot tub coming on Friday, will eventually become swimwear of some description. So we've got a piece there, a lovely, I can't believe I haven't used this already. Those two are sort of due to coordinate together. Another piece, um, which I made a swim costume actually. I've made the Colosso swim costume out of that, which is really pretty. And this one I bought on a D-stash. I think I bought this from, I want to say I bought this from Helen from Stitch Re Repeat, if that's not correct, I apologize, but I bought it from a D-stash of one of my um, fellow sewing bolts. Uh, this is quite a big remnant piece of, um, sort of like a, how do you describe that? Gabardine? Um, something like that. Um, I'm not sure there is enough to make trousers there. I'm not quite sure what my vision is for that, but it's a lovely colour. Maybe I'll make some more duet trousers or something. Um, and then, I, still, I can't believe I haven't used this. This is one of my favourite pieces of fabric. Um, this, I think I've even got three metres of that. And that will be beach pyjamas for next year. Um, it's got much better drape than the satin, cotton satin. I'm uh, sorry, the satin I'm using at the moment. And then as we get down in the bottom here, I've got a couple of meters, I think, of sort of a black twill. Surprised I haven't used that. And then um, this is lovely. This is from Stitch Fabrics. This is jersey, and again, this will be a jumpsuit at some stage. Um, uh, maybe the Abbey jumpsuit by Athena Cacao, which sadly doesn't she doesn't do patterns anymore. Um, and this one is also a jersey. Um, I'm not sure what I've got planned for that actually. Again, the colours the colours don't necessarily do much for me. So oh hang on, I've got to whip it at the door. Wait a minute. It's a whip it invasion. Who have I got? Hello, good evening. How are you doing? What have you been up to? Hmm? What do we know? Hello, darling, what do we know? Hey? Oh, huffing and puffing. No? All right. Okay. Thank you for your um, visit. Much appreciated. Lella, I've got to shut the door, darling. It's now loud out there. Gosh. I think it's a stir fry and chicken stir fry in process. Now, I'm going to just whiz down this now, if that's all right. Because you know about this one. This is the couple of meters that turned up um, from Night and Fabrics this week. And then I'm not cheating, but genuinely in these boxes here, um, we've got. Um, uh, we've got a duvet cover uh, and lots of odd bits of fabric that I'm not sure what to do with. And then in here, again, um, do you know what? I'm looking at that. They are all remnants in there as well, but bigger pieces of remnants. So they're the trousers I made from the Ultimate Trousers. This is a big piece of fabric. I haven't used that. I made the Molly jacket out of this. There's a remnant of zebra fa fabric that I made, sort of linen fabric that I made my um, uh, wide leg peppermint trousers from. There's a remnant of some cord that I made some jawn jeans out of. And then this at the bottom, um, this is the box of scraps, which I absolutely adore because this is, goes back years. Um, I do need to probably go through it a bit really. Um, and I'm always watching um, YouTubers make poofs and stuff out of theirs. But you'll be surprised how many times I come to this and it has actually got useful things in it. Um, so I, I just, I really like it. It does need thinning down a bit, as you can see. I can even, can't even barely wedge that into the, into the cupboard anymore. But, um, so I'm going to stop filming there so I can turn around and sit back down with you. Um, back in a second. 
You're ever so close there. I hope that's okay. So, um, yeah, so that's my fabric stash. Not very much there. And it's now very glamorously piled up. I was watching um, Andrea Beyond the Pink Door uh, a couple of days ago and she sort of showed the aftermath of her Sunday lives. Um, sorry, more messages coming through. Sorry about that. Um, and I just, my room now looks reminiscent to that, not least from the chaos of the, um, the jumpsuit making. So I hope you've enjoyed today's little insight. Please do come back and join me for day nine um, uh, of Vlogmas. Um, another work day tomorrow. Um, and yeah, my head feels a bit different now because I'm wasn't. i not going up to Heathrow on Friday, not staying away um, and all those sorts of things. But that's okay. That's how life happens sometimes. But anyway, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Hope you're having a nice day. Bye.